iOS 17.3 is officially available now, and so here's what's new in the latest update for your iPhone. If someone happens to know your password to your iPhone and ends up stealing it, well, that person could do a lot of damage, like change the victim's Apple ID password, turn off Find My, and even gain access to pretty much every password that you have stored in iCloud Keychain. So in iOS 17.3, Apple added stolen device protection feature that is designed to add an additional layer of security in the event that someone has actually stolen your iPhone and happens to know your device passcode. So whenever this feature is turned on, Face ID or Touch ID authentication is strictly required for the actions like accessing passwords or pass keys in iCloud Keychain, applying for an Apple card or even viewing the card's virtual number, turning off lost mode, erasing all content and settings, and so much more. And you can see the full list here by pausing the video, or you can check it out in the article down in the description below. But there are even settings that will require biometric authentication and a one hour security delay before you can even change that setting. It seems like a lot, but if you're worried about your phone being stolen and that person happening to know your passcode, uh, well then this is a great extra layer of security for you. In Apple Music, there's a new collaborative playlist option for Apple Music subscribers, which allows multiple people to add, reorder, and remove songs in a shared playlist. Users are also able to leave animated emoji reactions next to the songs in that playlist. In iOS 17.3 and iPadOS 17.3, you'll now see Apple's new Unity Bloom wallpaper for the iPhone and iPad in support of the black community. The wallpaper includes an outline of flowers that fill with color when the display is active. Apple says that the blooming flowers and vibrant colors represent pan-Africanism and symbolize generations working together to address injustice and dismantle systemic barriers. There's also a new Black Unity Sport Band for the Apple Watch and an accompanying Black Unity watch base available with the watchOS 10.3 update. And lastly, iOS 17.3 brings us the ability to have your iPhone connect to select hotel room TVs via AirPlay. Now, the feature allows iPhone users to scan a QR code on a supported hotel room TV to establish an AirPlay connection, and then you'll be able to wirelessly stream videos, photos, and music from your phone to the TV. Google already offers a similar feature on some hotel TVs, allowing guests to stream content from their smartphones using Chromecast. And back at WWDC, Apple said Holiday Inn parent company IHG Hotels and Resorts plans to adopt the feature, but exact availability is unknown. LG also announced that it would be one of the first hotel room TV manufacturers to support this feature. So fingers crossed that we get this soon, especially Marriott's, which is where I tend to prefer to stay, uh, because that is something that I would really want to do. I want to be able to control the content from my phone, put it up on the TV and not have to scroll through the weird hotel TV menus. But of course, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on iOS 17.3? And uh, how are you liking iOS 17 in general so far? Go ahead and let me know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.